And this is I Say, You Say, where left is right, and right is... Or where east meets west, and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, the case of Cher, I'm sure I like, a girl for the man, and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the club hydroponic farm, growing potatoes, or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor, as my wife thinks. You decide, or... Let us decide for you. Give us a call and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny. Nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I mean, how is that fair? I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite. Um, you know, whatever that means. But people just respond badly to me. I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio. Back then. Even my husband can't do his job. He's trained to the staff. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. 
smoking? Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it sticks this time. I won't tell anyone you've got pl- Offense. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm sorry. This used to be a free country. When? Ha! <laughs> Good point, Dolly. Gotcha. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew tobacco. It relaxed them between stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes. Smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> and he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs? Bringing expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities. Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chance of getting anywhere with me. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money. But so... about the world a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's quality broadcasting. Yeah, uh, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice.